안녕하세요 매일매일 운동하기를 실천하고 있는 공탄 왕코입니다 운동해야죠 코로나가 확진자가 200명이 넘었어요 뭐 물론 외부 포함이 해외 입국자 포함이 있긴 하지만 국내 발생으로만 해도 160명이 넘었죠 아왜안 끝날까요 일단 운동을 할 거고요. 운동을 하고 뭐 하지 그 다음에 운동하고 드라마 보겠습니다. 내일 쉬는데 월요일부터 영화학원을 쭉 나가요. 하루도 거르지 않고 나갈 겁니다. 그래서 이제 더 이상 드라마를 볼 시간이 없어요. 마지막 휴가입니다. 저에게 있어서. 일단 CNN을 보면서 X kicking off what NASA hopes to be a many routine trips to the space station. The whole goal here is to commercialize our activities in low earth orbit. NASA wants to be one customer of many customers in a very robust commercial marketplace for human space flight in low Earth orbit. But we don't just want to be one of many customers, we also want to have numerous providers that are competing against each other on cost, on innovation, and on safety, ultimately bringing more access to space than ever before. The four astronauts include three from NASA and one from Japan Space Agency. Their six-month mission will involve research, completing maintenance repairs and other work on ISS. Fingers crossed. I'm Michael Holmes. Appreciate you spending part of your day with me. Kim Brunhuber will be here in about 30 minutes with more of CNN Newsroom and terribly well-dressed African Voices. <sighs> The planet is changing. We cannot ignore these warning signs that nature is giving us. We have to reflect, but we also have to act. My relationship with Hyundai started in 2016. We realized that there was a lot of overlap in our understanding of what it meant to really push for a more sustainable future. It's a very big challenge uh, to reorganize a business model that is fundamentally very different. But this one that we at Hyundai have started working towards. Hyundai have already started using sustainable materials on their upcoming Ionic Electric lineup. There is a huge chance now for the whole system to shift to a more sustainable way of being. I strongly believe that when all of us join hands under a common goal, sustainability for human progress oh. is within our reach. Our trust has been broken in our leaders, in our institutions, even with some of our friends. And we <laughs> are hurting. To listen, to learn from one another, to rebuild those bonds. Because trust shows that we believe in the good in each other. It's what makes us human. And when we trust one another, that is when we can truly achieve. get their news from CNN than any other news source. Coronavirus. To get daily news updates in your inbox, sign up to the CNN newsletter. Coronavirus. Fact versus fiction. Welcome to African Voices. I'm Mary Topo, and our changemaker this week is international pop star Akon. 
He sold millions of records and made numerous hits for himself and other artists. But these days, he's making headlines for his ventures outside of music, including his plans to build his own city in Senegal. We'll see what it took to secure that deal and show you why he's still held in such high regard in the music industry. Africa, that concept has sparked from the moment I put out my record. You know, I was always thinking the day I get big or the day I can be of an influence or have some kind of, you know, power to make some decisions in Africa, I want to go in and start developing. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Akon, and I'm literally building the future of Africa. I'm a change maker. You know, when you're doing things like this, people always look at it as or too ambitious. But every great idea starts with an idea. In September, pop star and musical entrepreneur Akon was in Senegal to officially unveil the designs for his boldest idea to date, Akon City. It's funny because Akon City was talked about as a conversation in 2010. And I was having a, a brief conversation with uh, Atepa, who's one of the leading architects in Dakar. That big monument that you see in Senegal, he designed and put there. And he said, listen, man, I don't sing, you know, I'm just an architect. If I was a singer, I'd be trying to create Akon City. And I thought about that and I was like, you know what, he's right. <laughs> as, many, as many people as we impact in this world, and I'm trying to do good and create a more of a philanthropic folder for myself, that would be the ultimate, you know, achievement, is to create a city that's not only gonna house, you know, thousands and hundreds of thousands of people, but also create jobs for hundreds of thousands of people, but also leave a landmark for myself from a legacy standpoint. Akon, who was born in the United States, but raised in Senegal, says the proposed multi-billion dollar development will be comparable to modern cities like Dubai and Singapore. The project itself is a six billion dollar project um, on a 10 year construction uh, build out. Uh, we're gonna do it in three phases. Uh, three and a half years, phase one should be finished. Uh, and that consists of the hospital, uh, the Akon Village Resort, um, uh, the police station, fire station, and the basic infrastructure, like all the roads, lighting, and everything like that. The residential also is a part of phase one, which is condominiums, uh, mansion resorts as well, too. So by phase one, we'll be able to accept and be able to welcome get uh, 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 visitors into the city. When all three phases are complete, Akon says the city will include a university, film studios, data centers, resorts, theme parks, and several other large projects. For now, Akon City is nothing but land. 2,000 acres of coastal green land south of Senegal's capital city, Dakar. Acquiring the land was a crucial step that required getting the president of Senegal, Macky Sall, to see Akon's vision. We want to also be able to have a maintenance situation where the locals are the ones that maintain the city. And all the jobs that's created will be created for the young generation that's coming forward. But from the beginning, I give you advice to check the company who can do this kind of business. Oh, yeah, mine was it. So, yeah. yeah. If you don't want to lose time, you don't have to lose time. Oh! oh yeah. so, I'm, we want to believe you. It's <laughs> actually purchased land. But it was gifted to me because that land originally was allocated for something else. I think the confidence he has in me has has to do with a lot of things. Um, one is because when we, when I first approached to do lighting, it was clear that I had no lighting in my background. So it was almost like I'm not quite sure if he knows what he's doing, but I don't think he's dumb enough to put his name on the line and destroy everything he's built for something he knows that he can't deliver on. He's referring to Akon Lighting Africa, the business he co-founded in 2014 to provide solar-powered lighting solutions to off-grid locations in Africa. So Akon Lighting Africa actually was, is what's sparking everything that you're seeing now. The goal was, okay, now that we have pilots in 16 countries, now let's start building actual cities 
that Akon lighting actually will power. Before he could begin building his first city, there were other people he needed to convince. So we're, we're here in Borjan. Um, this is actually the village right next door to where we're gonna build the Akon city. I came to talk to the elders, get their blessings, and also, you know, just make sure that they're involved. There was projects there for projects to be put in that area in the past that didn't really formulate well because they didn't go through the proper procedures as to get into the, you know, following tradition. And me being Senegalese, naturally, you always want to go and consult your elders, you know, your spiritual advisors, and more than anything, the community in that area. So the whole idea was to go meet with them, give them a full synopsis of the project on how it would impact them in, in every way, and then just get their blessings and get their prayers to be able to move forward. What we're going to do within the next 90 days, we're going to get the project manager for the facility that you guys the creation, okay. the new creation, uh -huh. and we're going to finish the project for this. Oh, really? Townspeople seem to welcome the plan, providing that the city will be beneficial to the town, as Akon says it will. We hope that everything uh, which was said is going to happen. Why we want the project? Because the youth, the youth here, they need jobs. And th this project is an opportunity to open for, for jobs. And it will help because uh, the village, there are some places where you don't have electricity, you don't have power. We hope that Acorn is going to light all the village. Yeah, so now we're at the actual site of where the city is going to be built. So you can kind of see the whole land, the whole site. Icon has no history of developing large-scale projects like this. There are many who doubt he can create something that's being compared to the city in the Black Panther movie. I love the movie and I embrace the fact that they're calling it the real life Wakanda because I felt the movie gave people the hope and the idea that something like this could possibly <laughs> one day be real. You know, and I think the first thought of making a dream come true is honestly getting to the mind of those who need to believe that it can actually happen. Now these designs are very eclectic and they, yes, but they're, they're shaped like statues. You know, similar to when a tourist come to Africa and they go to the airport, they buy the statue to take yeah. home with them. That's what the oh. people look like. I just, I honestly believe that it's 100% it's doable. And from my advisors, that's that's been a part of the right now and all the specific things that you can do. Uh, you can do aspects. Everything seems to be going well. So I'm just excited to get it all up. Okay. 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 Okay.